Y'all already know it's story time Friday. You know the vibes. Go ahead and sit back, relax, grab your snacks, and tune in for this tea. Hey, don't give a by none of that shit. All right, so y'all already know, before we get into the video, we gotta do the small business promo shout out. So the first shout out is by Impressed by Shay. So she said, hey T, I've seen you nails before for small business promo. I'm still getting orders using your code, so thank you. I now offer mommy and me nail sets, so I wanted to send you a set for you and baby girl. Oh, okay. One thing about my baby, <laughs> She love a good press on, okay? But she take it off in like five minutes. She not about that life, but she like how it look on her finger for like five minutes, but she take it off. Okay, so she said, as always, your subscriber can use all that's teeth for 20% off. I hope you and baby girl enjoy the Valentine's Day nails. Ooh, this from Valentine's Day, girl. My bad. Oh, this old. Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Okay, so we just really don't act like these not old. Dang, how I missed that? Oh, these are so cute. It's so cute. So this is the set, the Valentine's Day set. And this is a how to apply. Well, so it has the alcohol wipe um, or cleaning wipe as it says. So it has a wet one and a dry one, a little um, nail file, a buffer and a cuticle pusher. And these are the press-ons for my girl, which her fingers aren't this big. Like I could tell you now, like this is gonna be her thumb. That's probably too big. Cause she got some tiny little nail beds. But these are real cute. She gonna love these. So the second business promo goes to Doll Shop Co. Doll Shop Co stay sending me stuff. Bro, at this point, make me a brand ambassador, okay? This is like a velvet, lavender kind of a color jumpsuit. Cause y'all know spring around the corner. Dang, now if these pants fit, I'm gonna be real mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me see. I think this is a large. See, I can fit certain large tops, but not really bottoms. And I feel like a lot of people aren't like one size, you know, like a large top and bottom, medium top and bottom. Some people are a small top, uh, medium bottom or a small bottom, medium top. You know, if these fit, I done got real thick. The jacket is cropped. See, this is fine. The jacket is fine. Cause little crop jackets usually run small anyway. This is real cute. I love this color. I usually, and it's crazy because I usually don't like velvet, but this is like, this is given for me. Maybe it's the color. I really do like this. But she got her little tag, she official. As usual, I will leave everything about these two companies in the description. If you're looking for a good and affordable press on nails, definitely head to description and check out Impressed by Shay. And if you're looking for affordable clothes like track suits, I think she has bathing suits. It kind of looks like she's rebranding because I've seen a lot of bathing suits and stuff on her Instagram. So definitely go check her out. Y'all know spring and summer is right around the corner. Okay. Before we get into this video, do not forget to like the video. Please leave me a comment and make sure you hit that subscribe button and your bell notifications are on. Now, let's get into the video. This, I don't know what I would title this, but <laughs> it would be like fighting friends over the D or something. All right, let's just get into it. Okay. So this story time pretty much take place after the I took her man story time. If you haven't seen that one, you should go watch it because it's basically going to tell you the reason that me and Chelsea are not friends at this point. It's also going to show you how hypocritical people could be because y'all it's like <laughs> it, the title sound bad. I took her man, but it was way more to the story than that. So yeah, like I said, around this time, me and Chelsea not cool. We haven't been cool for a while. And honestly, I was used to it. It wasn't bothering me. At first it did bother me because that was my best friend. That should have really showed me like, girl, you can live without this friendship. Just leave the friendship where it's at. Like, honestly, after we fell out this time, I should have left the friendship where it was, but no. I'm telling you, me and this girl was friends for years. It didn't bother me because I knew that the friends that she, or the girls that she dropped me for made them turn against me, they were fake too. So, girl, you just you just surrounded by fakeness, and I just really didn't care. Anyway, I was still cool with Alicia. This was before I loan, loaned her money and all that stuff. This was before we worked together at Popeyes. So, fast forward, me and Alicia live in the same neighborhood. At this time, they had just finished building apartments in our neighborhood. So, it was like our neighborhood's name, but it was an apartment complex for it. 
So that means like a whole lot of people was going to be moving in our neighborhood, basically. A whole group of different people, faces, whatever we finna see outside. Honestly, we was excited, even though I barely went outside. But when I did, I was outside, okay? But yeah, we used to go chill at them apartments, like the gym, the little rec center. I guess that's what you would call it because it had like the TVs and the chairs and stuff like that. That little area they pull, they had a pool over there. And at this time, Chelsea and Alicia are still cool. Granted, I'm not that friend that's like, oh, I don't fuck with Chelsea. So Alicia, you can't talk to Chelsea. I'm not that kind of friend. But it was weird to me because they were only cool because of me. Because before, it was just me and Alicia. Me and Alicia didn't really care for Chelsea. Alicia didn't like Chelsea. I didn't care for her. You know, I would see her like around school and I didn't like how she seemed because I didn't know her. So I'm not gonna say I didn't like how she was, but I personally didn't like her attitude, some of the stuff that came out of her mouth. I just, I didn't care for the girl. But then I obviously, I got to know her and the rest is history. We became friends for years. But Alicia didn't like her. And then when we all were cool, it was like a frenemy thing going on between them. I was, I felt like I was the glue because I was like, honestly, <laughs> it was a weird thing. Chelsea would be like, oh, Alicia loud. Like, I, she did, she that. And when they would get into like little spat or like little feuds or whatever, and Alicia would be like, oh, I can't stand Chelsea fat ass, big ass, she a whole did of this. And I would have to be the one like, all right, chill out, chill out. We all supposed to be cool. Y'all, it was a weird situation, I know. If you've had a group of friends, that's why I feel like you can't have like a, a big group of friends and then call all of them your best friend because it's, it's just not gonna work. One day, Alicia meet this boy like just from being outside or whatever. She called me that same day and she telling me about him. What can we call him? You know what? We gonna call him Wiz because I swear he thought he was Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa, this is when Wiz Khalifa was real popular and that was his favorite rapper. He had the Wiz Khalifa aesthetic, Chuck Taylors, like dressed in like Wiz Khalifa, everything. He didn't look like him, but it was just the vibe. And then Wiz had a friend, we gonna call, we gonna call him Anthony. So yeah, she tells me how she met Wiz and Anthony and she liked Wiz etc etc if you new here and you don't know like I, I grew up in a strict household couldn't really do much definitely couldn't have people over like that alicia had more freedom than i did so alicia would have whiz over the house and everything she would be telling me to come over y'all know i gotta ask if i want to go outside that day i need to call my aunt or ask my aunt at like 10 o'clock in the morning to go outside and if i want to spend a night somewhere i need to ask her like three days in advance if you grew up in a strict household, you already know. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I just can't be going outside all willy nilly. I felt like if my aunt had a plan and she like set it in motion, if something like me, if something out the blue like me wanting to go outside came in, it, chaos. It just created chaos in her brain. She was like, well, you, you didn't tell me you wanted to go outside today. Why are you asking all willy nilly? Da, da, da. Like, it's, it's a lot to explain. She wanted things to go by the book and she didn't want nothing to disrupt her plan. So me just calling, asking all willy nilly, I ain't feel like hearing no speech. So I'd be like, girl, next time, I'll get you tomorrow. I'll come outside tomorrow. One day she called me and she like, Wiz coming over tomorrow. Um, and Anthony, he got like a friend. Do you want to chill? Basically, she needed me to wingman for the friend. She gave me the green light to go outside tomorrow. It's on. It's only popping. I'm, I'm trying to get over there as early as possible because she would be like, I had to be home by like 4 o'clock. Okay, I got to be home by 4. I'm going to go over there at 11 a.m. And honestly, I don't even think it was four. It probably was like three o'clock or something. I had like the shortest time limit, but she she would always be like, call me before you leave and you need to be home by three o'clock. Like, I don't want you walk in at night when it's dark, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, we get dark at like eight o'clock in the summer, but all right. Um, Next day come, I'm on the phone with Alicia in the morning. Girl, you ready? You ready for me to come over? And she was like, girl, chill. They coming over around 12, one. I'm like, bitch, I don't got the time. I don't got that much time. I need to come now or never. I know it's 9 a.m., but I'm on the way. A lot of the time, Alicia had to babysit her little brother. So that's why the dudes was coming to the house, to her house, because her little brother, she needed to like watch him and stuff. I don't know where, I think her little brother would just like be up in his room and like not come out the room. So fast forward a little bit, Wiz and Anthony come over, you know, we in the house for like 10 minutes, but then Alicia decide, first of all, her brother didn't want to be locked up in the room. So then Alicia decided to put up her garage and we all go sit out in the garage and like be in the driveway just in case one of her parents randomly pop up because it was like, if her parents popped up, we could just say like, oh, they just walked up, like they seen us in the garage and they walked up talking to us versus one of her parents popping up and there's two dudes in the house. We went to the garage, we're talking in the garage. At first we all talking together and then Alicia and Wiz, they like kind of go off in the corner. 
do their own thing, talk and stuff. So I'm just talking to Anthony. I pretty much know I'm playing wingman. So like, it's not like I liked him. Like, oh my God, Anthony. Like, no, this is a wingman situation. It just helped that he was like cute. The first time chilling with them, it was cool. But Wiz was like, man, it's hot out here. Next time y'all gonna have to come to my house. So we could come in or we could chill, watch movies and stuff. Alicia was like, yeah, we could come tomorrow. I'm like, tomorrow? Girl, you don't live where I live. You don't know where I'm from. I can't do tomorrow, I can do the day after because it was like, y'all, I know this sounds crazy to some people, but if you get it, you get it. In my house, if I ask to go outside like literally two days in a row, I know I'm a teenager, I know it's summer, but if I ask two days in a row, she would be like, you wanna go outside again? What's outside? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. My friends is outside, life is out, nature, the sun, like what? <laughs> so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna have to skip a day. Like if I go outside Monday, I'm gonna have to skip a day, catch you on Wednesday. That's just how it was. Mind you, I'll call Alicia the next day. I'm like, girl, what you doing? She was like, I'm with Wiz. We doing this and we outside and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ugh, I hate my life. <laughs> So anyway, on that same day, Alicia called me back like a little bit later telling me that she seen Chelsea in Wiz's apartment complex, which was basically our neighborhood's apartment complex. Chelsea was with this girl. What can we call her? I want to call the girl Rufus because she looked like a Nick and Maul. <laughs> but I don't want y'all to get confused and think Rufus is a boy. What can I call her then? I'm going to call her Olivia. She do not look like no Olivia. She honestly, she looked like her real name, but obviously I can't. Chelsea was at Olivia house, which is in the same apartment complex that Wiz live in. Now, Chelsea was the kind of person that had a new friend every week and a new best friend every month. Like she was one of them just run through friends like this, like this, never had the same friend. I think the same, like she had maybe three, two or three of the same consistent friends and I was one of them. Well, not at that time though. It's not even shocking that Chelsea know her and over here and that's her new best friend at the moment. So yeah, Chelsea, I mean, so yeah, Alicia run into them. Alicia already had like a bad taste in her mouth about Olivia. They had like gotten into it a little bit over something else. So Alicia really didn't like her. But me knowing Alicia, when she ran into them, I know she played fake and was like, oh, hey girl. Like, you know, I already know the kind of stuff that she do. Alicia had a little bit of a lying problem. So she's the type of person like when she tell you something, you already know in your head the real way that it went just because you know that person. So I guess they had like a little what you doing over here and alicia was like i talked to wiz like i was at wiz house blah 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 chelsea and olivia know that alicia talked to wiz she was at his house you blah 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 just keep that in mind fast forward to the next day this is a day that we finna go to wiz house me and alicia finna go to wiz house chill with him and anthony yeah i call alicia i'm like girl what you doing she was like i'm finna go to wiz house and i'm like wait for me i'm finna walk to your house in like maybe what 10 15 minutes so we can go together so because it was like a hassle like they had to come all the way from their apartment open the gate and blah 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 unless we could catch a car pulling in it was just like it was annoying so if she was like no i'm gonna go now he told me to come now blah 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 basically she didn't want to wait for me so i'm like okay whatever anyway i finished getting ready i got my hair up in a bun i got on like a tight black shirt some capris and some black chuck taylor some black converse so this is the time like i had a lot well i still have the piercings i have a lot of piercings in my ear but um two of them are too close so what i used to do y'all ghetto i used to take super glue put super glue on the backs of my earrings and like squeeze it together so they look separated and it did kind of look gunky at the back because you know super glue when it dry you can see it so that's what i would do whatever and then i got my hair up in a bun too so you could kind of see that the two earrings are super glued together <laughs> i don't know why i did this and still decided to wear my hair up in a bun you can clearly see that ghetto shine. I'm telling y'all that because it's gonna come up. I started walking to Wiz's house. I ended up catching a car and I basically I get in the gate without them, knock on the door, whatever, I'm there. When I get there, it's Alicia, Wiz, Anthony, and like two other dudes plus me. We just chilling. He offering us snacks. We up in there watching TV. Everybody all booed up on the couch, whatever. His parents, honestly, they didn't care about him having people in the house. They couldn't have because we was all up in his mama room and everything, using the restroom. I mean, not his mama, his dad. So it was like me, Alicia, Wiz, and their, um, damn, I'm about to say his name, Anthony on the other side of me. So me and Alicia sitting by each other um anthony got his arm like this and i'm like i'm like on him a little bit leaning on him laying on him kind of and we all just watching tv or whatever so i'm doing that and my head is kind of not really on his chest but like kind of 
And Alicia, oh my God, nah, Chelsea went wrong. Alicia was loud. Sometimes it was annoying. But I hate, I don't know what girls get out of this. I don't know what girls get out of embarrassing other females or trying to in front of dudes. What do you get out of that? At this point in time, I'm going to chalk it up to us being young. So I'm laying on Anthony and she was like, Girl, you your crusty as hell. Why you your crusty? Blah, blah, blah. Like just loud as hell. And I'm like, what you talking about? She was like, you got something on your ear right here. And I'm like, oh girl, that's my earrings. Like I had to make, I had to like basically nigga rig my earrings so they look correct. And she was like, girl, take that off. Take that shit out. Don't even wear it. Blah, blah, blah. Just like going in. I'm like, why? She was like, that look nasty for real. You should take that out. Y'all, I promise you, all it was was like two earrings super glued together. Like the two backs of the earrings super glued together. I don't even know how to explain it, but it didn't look nasty or nothing. It just looked like it was super glued on my earrings. I know it's ghetto, but you ain't got to point it out. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly didn't realize that people was going to be able to actually see it because I'm wearing a bun. So I'm like, girl, this is not your ear. Don't worry about it. Because now I'm getting a little offended. You loud talking and trying to embarrass me. There's hella niggas in here. <laughs> and she was like, girl, I'm just trying to help you. That look crusty, that look nasty. It kind of looked like your ear infected. I'm like, girl, you dragging it. I ain't say dragging it, but she was really dragging it. So I get up and I sit on the other side of Anthony. So I'm like, you better now. You can't see it. You better. And Anthony was like, let me see. Let me see what she's talking about. I'm like, no, just <laughs> just chill. No, you cannot see. He was like, just let me see. Just let me see. And I'm like, no. So it was it was a whole thing. I was I was thoroughly embarrassed. I was ready to get up and get to walking home immediately. I get up, I go to the bathroom. I must have been in the bathroom for a little minute. I'm in that bathroom. I'm like uh, trying to scrub off the little bit of crust I can without actually making my earrings like unlatched because I don't, it's like two of my piercings. I don't even wear that piercing no more, honestly. Like <laughs> I took that piercing out maybe a week later and never ever put it back in. I'm pretty sure it's closed now. So yeah, I'm trying to like get the crust off without making my earrings come apart because I still like how it looked. So I'm in the bathroom, I'm checking like, damn, can you really see that shit? Like, damn, you can really see that shit. What was I thinking? I'm thinking like, should I take my hair down so you can't see it no more? But then that's obvious. Um, that's even more embarrassing because they gonna know they got to me for real. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So Alicia knocked on the door and she was like, why you in here for so long, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm just trying to get the stuff off my earring. She was like, let me help you, da, da, da. Like, trying to be nice after you just embarrassed the hell out of me. Now, I know it might not sound embarrassing to y'all, but it was to me. Like, you would just had to been there and how loud she was talking and, ooh. I'll come back. At this point, I don't even want to sit by Anthony ass because he was just dragging it. So I sit on a little ottoman in the middle of like the couch everywhere because they had like a sectional. So I sit on the ottoman thing. And Anthony was like, oh, it's like that. You mad at me now? Come over here. Come sit by me. No. Basically, going to Wiz house every time I went to Alicia house, that became a routine. Now, fast forward a little bit. On this specific day, we walking over to Wiz's house. I think this was like more of a pop-up thing. I don't know if he was ignoring her or what, but I'm at her house and she was just like, let's go to Wiz's house. So I'm thinking, okay, he know we coming. So we walk over there, it's probably like two minutes and we knock on Wiz's door. We knocking and knocking and he not answering. We can literally hear that he's inside. There's music playing, you hear talking and everything, but nobody coming to the door. So I'm thinking like, maybe he don't hear us knocking. So we start knocking even harder. Like we start hitting the door with one of these, not banging like we 12, like the police, but we just start doing this cause you know, it's louder. So when we not, when we start knocking like this, that's when somebody finally comes to the door and open the door. It's Anthony. Anthony is there and Anthony opened the door just enough for us to see Chelsea and Olivia. Why are you in here, Chelsea and Olivia? Alicia didn't walk in or nothing. She just like, where's Wiz? Where's Wiz? Like you could tell she was irritated as hell. They sitting on the couch with these like smirks on their face. And Wiz is acting like he don't want to come to the door. Typical nigga shit. Wiz finally comes to the door. He actually stepped out and like kind of cracked the door behind him so we can't see in the house no more. And Wiz is like, why you not answer? I mean, Alicia is like, why you not answer the phone? Like, why you not texting me back? Why, what's going on? Why is Olivia here? She didn't even care about Chelsea. Why is Olivia here? So y'all already know Wiz trying to basically gaslight her. Like, nah, they just the homies. We up in here chilling. We listening to music. We smoking and da 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 this. And I'm just like, sure. He lying. He lying. So while they talking, I kind of, I don't want to be right there while he, while they doing they whatever. I like to mind my business. So I kind of step off to the side, you know, turn a little bit. I can still hear them act like I'm on my phone because I don't want it to be awkward. 
So I kind of like give them that little space. So they going back and forth. All of a sudden the door open. It's Chelsea. Chelsea, one thing about Chelsea, she a bald motherfucker. She bald as hell. She um <laughs> she opened the door and she like, Wiz, you got the um you got the guard. And Wiz pull out like a pack of guards from his pocket and give it to her because I guess they rolling up and stuff. This this situation had Chelsea written all over it. And that's exactly why I say that Chelsea and Alicia, they was not real friends ever. Because if they was Chelsea wouldn't have did that. What was the reason for her doing that? She didn't have a reason. Alicia, mad as hell, I could tell she's trying to keep her cool. She was like, are you finna tell them to leave because I came over here to see you and blah, blah, blah. So Wiz is like, I'm not finna tell them to leave. I already told you that's the homie. We finna roll up in here. We finna smoke. You could come in and chill with us. Y'all both can come in. But we just chilling. I'm not interested in either one of them. Alicia like, I'm not coming in there. I'm not finna chill. Like, I don't want to chill with them. I wanted to chill with you. I came over here for you. Same, like, going back and forth, whatever. At one point, Alicia is just like, you know what? F it. I'm finna leave. So she like, come on. Wiz, he don't give a damn, okay? Like, it's not like he was like, all right, bye, bitch. But he just went back in the house and, cl like, cracked the door. He didn't close it all the way. He just, like, the door was closed, but not all the way. Like, I feel like that kind of hurt her feelings in at that moment, in the moment, because she probably thought that he didn't care. So we walked, like, about 15 steps away, and then we stopped in the walkway. I could tell she didn't want to leave. I could tell she felt like something wasn't right, because I even felt something wasn't right. It was like, I know she had that gut feeling, that intuition. Like, it was obvious, like, he definitely not messing with Chelsea. So he got to be messing with Olivia or something, you know? It was kind of, it was the vibe of Chelsea was there for Anthony and Olivia was there for Wiz. We just standing in the walkway and we talked. So Alicia was like, I don't know, like how many, like who knows how long they've been doing this and blah, blah, blah. Cause like, it's not like Alicia and Wiz hung out every day. They hung out a lot, but not every single day. Maybe on them in-between days, you don't know what was going on. Dudes make the time, okay? You be feeling like you see your dude and you with your dude all the time and you talk to him. He gonna make the time to do what he wanna do. Believe that. So we just talking and she, I was like, what you wanna go back? You wanna go back and knock on the door, blah, blah, blah. In the midst of us talking, the door open. Out walks Olivia, Chelsea, Anthony, and Wiz. Chelsea and Olivia giving both of them hugs. Like, they all hug and they were like, bye, you know, we gonna see you later, blah, blah, blah. Chelsea say some slick like yeah you need to handle that and blah 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 i guess she was talking about the situation of us popping up they walked by y'all it was so oh my god the tension they walked by chelsea mug both of us damn near olivia mug and alicia it was so weird like you you caught the vibe nobody's stupid this ain't no homie vibe because if it was they would have said something to at least alicia i know me and chelsea not cool wiz come over to alicia he was like yeah so why you mad da da this da da that i told they asked to leave what's up why you popping up they just talking i'm like not why you popping up i'm walking away though because ain't none of my business basically wiz trying to sweet talk alicia alicia was acting like she not having it she was like man come on come on tatiana come on da 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 so i'm thinking like oh, okay she really finna make this nigga feel it because she ready to go. She not trying to stay. She not trying to chill. So we walk back to her house. We walk back to her house. We chill for a little bit. I go home because it was like around the time that I needed to start walking home. Because I don't, mm -mm. I'm not trying to hear the mess that come when I'm late. Maybe like a few hours pass after I get home. And <laughs> I call Alicia. And I'm like, yeah, girl, what you doing? She was like, nothing. I'm with Wiz. I'm thinking not with Wiz. <laughs> Girl, not you pretending to be mad. Girl, you could have just been like, yeah, I'm finna stay over here. Like, you go home, whatever. Not you uh walking me halfway home just for you to go back right over to Wiz's house. <laughs> but it be like that sometimes, for real. It really do, because I've been there. Um, Wiz end up feeding Alicia some lie. And me and Alicia end up talking again. And I'm like, why don't you reach out to Chelsea? Like, y'all supposed to be cool. So just see, like, what it really is. Honestly, the type of person Chelsea is, I feel like she would have told Alicia the truth. But Alicia was like, man, f*** that bitch. She fake, I see why you don't like her, blah, blah, blah. The boy was manipulating her, honestly. Time going by, the routine is the same. We always going over there to chill. At this point, Anthony trying to feed me the same BS, acting like he fake liking me for real, want me to be his girlfriend and stuff like that. One thing about me, I ain't let a dude live nothing down. I be like, nah, Chelsea, Chelsea, you like Chelsea, you trying to talk to Chelsea too, I'm not doing that, blah, blah, blah. So now, it had been some time later, and we go to Wiz's house again. So we go over there, everything normal is Wiz, it's me, Wiz, Anthony, and Alicia. Everything normal, we just chilling, whatever. Why after like 20 minutes, it's a knock on the door? It's a fucking knock on the door. 
so Wiz opened a door, but he like don't open enough to the, to where we can see who's at the door or they can see inside. So we just hear them like talking low, but you can hear that it's females. We get closer to the door. Um, Anthony trying to talk to us like, man, what y'all doing? Y'all nosy as hell. Y'all nosy as hell. While we hear Olivia at the door talking about, can she come get something? She left something in his room or something like that. So Wiz is saying something like, nah, I'm gonna I'm bring it to you right quick. I'm about to leave. He leave, he cracked the door. He don't never close the door all the way. He cracked the door. He walking back to where we was at in the living room and we acting like we not listening. You know, we just pretending like we walking around or some shit. He go up in the room and he in the room for like a hot second. Next thing you know, these two bold bitches walk right on up in the house. Boy, if you ain't want them coming in, at least you could have did was close the door and lock it real quick. If you really trying to get away with something. Men don't think. He wasn't even no man. He was a boy. And they definitely don't think. Everybody was shook. I already knew what time it was. And honestly, I felt like Olivia got real bold around Chelsea. So they walk in, Chelsea walk in first, Olivia right behind her. Olivia was like, oh, you got company. Why you just didn't say you had company? Then she like laughing, like all sarcastic, like, uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. So they walk right up in the room and he was like, hey, chill out, I'm about to bring it to you. Just wait outside, just wait outside. She was like, no, I'll get it myself. So Alicia like, what is she doing here? What did she leave over here? Why she over here? What she got over here, blah, blah, blah. So Olivia is like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about why I'm over here. You in the wrong people business. That's not your business. Just going on and on and on. Damn near not even making sense. Just trying to sound like she got one up on Alicia. And then Olivia had the nerve to say, bitch, don't you get you and your sidekick beat up. Talking about me. <laughs> Bitch, what do I gotta do with it? Why am I always in some drama? Why am I always in some drama? So I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. And here come Chelsea, super saver Olivia. Here she come. I, she was waiting. Bitch, be really waiting. I could tell she was waiting just to say something to me. She was like, no, bitch, you shut the fuck up. I'm supposed to be scared of you? Am I supposed to be scared of you? Here come Olivia. They both scary. They both scary. At this point, Anthony and Wiz is trying to get in the middle of us. For some reason, Wiz is over there trying to hold back Olivia. I don't know why. That's where he wanted to be, and he had to stand beside her. And Anthony is over here trying to hold us back. And it was really like fake holding us back. It was it wasn't none but one of these. They both got their arms out like this. It wasn't none but that. It's like a whole lot of commotion going on. Everybody hollering, everybody screaming. So yeah, at one point Olivia was like, "Bitch, you want to go outside? Cause I'm not trying to fight you in my man apartment. I don't dis I'm not gonna disrespect your house. But I'm about to beat this bitch up and die. Just going in. So I'm like, yo, man, if that shit." <laughs> So Alicia was like, you her man now? You her man now? This your man? This your man? Olivia was like, you heard what I said? You heard what I said? Everybody talking. Chelsea on, trying to be on my ass. Like that bitch not trying to get her foot off my neck. We going back and forth. I'm going back and forth with Chelsea. It wasn't them, but bitch, shut up. Bitch, fight me. Bitch, swing. Da -da 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 -da. So Olivia's like, I'm not doing this shit. She go back in the room. She was like, let me get my shit. She go back in the room, look for whatever she was looking for. Child, I don't even think... I'm trying to think because I don't remember her having nothing in her hand. But she did pick some shit up and throw it. And that's what caused all hell to break loose. This bitch throw it. Trying to hit Alicia. That shit almost hit me. I don't know how good your aim, aim was bad as hell. Or maybe she was trying to hit me. I don't know why she would be trying to hit me. But yeah, her, her aim was bad as hell. Nah, she had to be aiming at Alicia because Alicia went ham. Next thing you know, Alicia attempted to run up on Olivia. She running up, she swing, but Anthony grab her back before like it could connect. And that's when everybody just start trying to swing. And when that happened, it's like, <laughs> it's like Chelsea thought I intended to swing on her because they was really trying to get at us. And you let Aunt, how, Wiz was so damn skinny. There was no way. And Chelsea was big. So how you can't get away from Wiz? I mean, like how you can't just throw his little ass? That's why I say nobody was really trying to do nothing for real. So Wiz was what, 140, bitch? 145? So it was like Wiz was in front of Olivia and um, Chelsea, and then Anthony and them was in front of us. You know what, them niggas was kind of strong actually. At least Anthony was. But Chelsea was big. She should have been able to get around him. Olivia and Alicia, I mean, Olivia and Chelsea finally act like they walking out. Before Olivia could get to the door, she attempted to run up on Alicia. I guess she had to get her little, I don't even know. I guess she had this, even the score, like Alicia tried to run up on me, so I'm about to try to run up on her. She tried to run up on her. Obviously, Wiz stop it. 
she swung but when i tell you she was nowhere near alicia like she swung too early even if like <laughs> even if with this stop it you swung too early by the time you get to alicia your arm finna be down and you're gonna be ready to get knocked in your damn face when she do that wiz really boot them out but alicia was like nah fuck that she gonna follow them so now we taking this commotion outside because olivia was like Let, let's take it outside let's take it outside i don't want to fight in the apartment i'm not trying to break your shit wiz so let's take it outside alicia was down so yeah everybody outside in like the hallway area yelling going crazy somebody opened their door like i'm finna call the police i'm about to call the police y'all better go home i'm about to call the police we ain't scared of no damn police. <laughs> now, if the police would have really pulled up. But in that moment, we like, we ain't scared of no fucking police. Fuck you. Da da da. We cussing this lady. I won't even know this damn lady. This is Wiz's neighbor. Honestly, I felt like Wiz chose his side. And that's what Olivia, because he was over there trying to talk them down. He was really talking to both of them, but most, more so Chelsea. Chelsea is like, man, I ain't worried about them hoes scary. They some scary ass hoes, blah, blah, blah. And Alicia was like, who, who are you talking to? Nobody's scared of you. Nobody's scared of you, Chelsea. I'm yelling at Chelsea. I'm like, Fuck you, you a fake ass bitch, you been a fake ass bitch. You supposed to be this big friend, da 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 We all yelling. Olivia was like, fuck her, that ain't her friend, fuck her. Chelsea don't like that bitch. I'm thinking since when? Yo, so everybody yelling. I remember Olivia saying, bitch, I don't fight, bitch, I don't fight, but I'll drag you, ho, I'll drag you. And I'm just thinking like, girl, if you don't fight, why you wanna fight now? Everybody yelling, Wiz kind of holding Olivia back. And all of a sudden she kind of like spit over his shoulder, spitting towards our direction. And I'm like, this is a nasty bitch. Cause first of all, what if you would have spit on his shoulder? You already know your aim ain't that good. Cause you threw something, you try to throw it at Alicia, that shit damn near hit me. So after Olivia say that, Chelsea was like, man, both y'all, I drag both y'all little bitches. And I'm just thinking like, this hoe. <laughs> Not the same bitch that was at my house talk about, I didn't know you could fight. I didn't know you was that strong when we was practicing fighting bitches because, no, nah, I never told that story. Did I mention that on the membership? I don't know, but whatever. We was about to go fight these girls one time. We was going over our techniques, <laughs> basically. I like when bigger people underestimate smaller people because me and Alicia was really the same size. Alicia was like a little bigger than me, but we was like the same height and everything. Girl, I see big bitches getting knocked down all the time. I just seen it about a month ago. You just talking, mind you, I swear to God, when we was in the house, if Chelsea wanted me, she could have really pushed Wiz out the way and ran up. So now they got Wiz and Anthony over there. That's when they really start bucking. At least Olivia, she started bucking way more. Now that she got two dudes to hold her back. It was so weird. I don't, I don't fucking know. As this going on, I seen a man in uniform start walking up. And I'm like, this lady really caught the fucking police. So I started backing up. Bitch, I <laughs> you're not finna walk, the police not finna ride me home. Oh no. This man is like, what, what's going on here? I, when As he walking up, I see that he's security. I think he was like the apartment security. But me back then, I'm thinking like he could still arrest us or something. What I know now is a security can't do shit. Like they don't have handcuffs. What they, what they got, a flashlight maybe? <laughs> so he was like, I'm gonna need y'all to get off this premises if you don't live here. And if you live here, I need you to go back to your respective homes and blah, blah, blah. Chelsea and Olivia, they start walking their way. Um, Wiz start walking back to his apartment and Anthony even go back to his apartment because Anthony lived in that complex too. Me and Alicia, we leaving together and we just talking about it like, I can't believe that shit just happened. We like Chelsea a fake ass bitch. All, all kinds of stuff y'all we get on facebook later on that night they talking so much shit so chelsea talking that bitch, meet up at me meet up at my uh facebook name let's meet up bitch. you see that da, 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 i know where you live yeah you do know where i live so if you know where i live you would have just pulled up she was really just trying to put on a show for Facebook. I swear she was. So I'm on the phone with Alicia and we both reading the comments. We both reading with um, Olivia and Chelsea saying, Olivia going in on Alicia, like both them bitches scary and da 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 da. So we going back and forth with them. I'm like, what you saying? What you finna say? And I'm telling her and she telling me, bitch, it was a lot. Oh my God. I know y'all remember them kind of days. Like on the phone when you arguing on the internet, like bitch, what you finna say? What you finna say? All right, I'm finna say this. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. I forgot when we was arguing, I called, <laughs> what did I say to her? I said the corniest shit. I think I called her La Siena Gaboulevardes because um, Olivia had big, she was like tall. I was like with them La Siena Gaboulevardes ass feet because she had the biggest foot I had ever seen on a girl. That hoe had to have worn like a size 12. <laughs> her feet was so big. I, she was giving like Rufus in the face from Kim Possible. Zoe body from the Proud family and La Cienega feet 
when um <laughs> when she when she had to do that swimming contest i was like this is an awkward looking bitch i ain't even gonna lie to you me and alicia name for her was naked mall rap for the longest so yeah anyway it didn't even end that day for real a little bit after this alicia and olivia did end up fighting i wasn't there for it but alicia told me about it right after that happened and i was like this is really a situation where y'all both should have been fighting him because he juggling both of y'all lying to both of y'all and like i don't know i guess of course we was young back then we ain't know that we didn't realize what was going on or they didn't realize but they really should have fought him that's how i feel oh wiz was not worth all that i'm sorry he just wasn't he had that cool ass vibe to him that's what it was i guess it really wasn't about looks or nothing like that he just had that vibe he was, he was really cool he was funny i don't know he had them fighting though he had them fighting it didn't even end at the fight because after that they both were still messing with him i remember alicia being like real i feel like honestly at that age i don't i don't ever feel like i felt stressed out but if i had to pin stressed out on something alicia i feel like alicia was real stressed out about this situation and didn't even know it because obviously olivia live in the same apartment complex she got more access to wiz than alicia you know like easier and quicker access that girl could come in the middle of the night do whatever and then leave so i know it was really really bothering her because and then it's like what else can you do you already fought the girl you know you're still gonna mess with him you know she's still gonna mess with him child when i really think about it i can't honestly relate to it because child honest that was like olivia neighbor and i done been through a neighbor situation so because i had never been there before like i had never been to the point like damn girl why you can't stop messing with this dude and she was at that point and i was just thinking like dang what is it about wiz i mean i know he cool he funny whatever but he not all that to be doing all this over so yeah like i said they ended up fighting but i don't know who won the fight i know alicia told me that they fought but she didn't say who won and i didn't it, i don't know i didn't ask maybe she lost i don't know i don't know i don't know and you know what it could have went either way because um even though olivia was tall she was real real skinny and i feel like alicia could have possibly threw her around like a rag doll like height and stuff don't matter if you ain't sturdy like none of that other shit matter you know because the bigger they are the harder they fall always so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe with your bell notifications on if you want to join a membership for extra tea the link is in the description try to sign up for a laptop or a computer and yeah, y'all already know what time it is. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye. And I'm like, bruh, I don't know. Child, I don't know. And she must have told Chelsea the same thing. She must have told Chelsea about Wiz too. I don't know why. <sighs> I drop this clicker every second. I never went to that pool, but yeah. I feel crooked. Oh. Uh, had to fix the camera. If you had a group of friends that first of all don't even really care for each other like that. You get what I'm trying to say. Like you get the dynamics. <laughs> it was so weird. It was so weird. My other friend Bree was kind of in the situation too. It was like nobody liked Chelsea for real. Honestly, it's not like all three of us collectively agreed not to like Chelsea before we actually knew her. All three of us just separately separately came to that conclusion by ourselves. I kind of feel like I drug that out. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> forgot what I was saying. And my whole toenail finna break off. I gotta save that bitch. I'ma save you, bitch. Amisha, Amisha. <laughs> It was weird just just know it was weird so yeah but i mean it wasn't her fault it was she got a little touch of ocd so i mean he was cute but it's not like i liked him or anything basically oh 333 i should have stopped it so yeah so yeah y'all for me to do something it was like a whole list of questions she asked me the whole list of questions a question she always asked if she knew that there was like um, if she knew it was a two-parent home, is is her dad gonna be there? Me and my brain, I'm thinking, I hope so. Because <laughs> listen, 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 listen. It was a thing that everybody thought Alicia dad was so fine. He was really giving R. Kelly. He had like the cornrows back then. Just I don't know. Everybody just thought her dad was so fine. But <laughs> I swear, I swear I did. Girl. <laughs> 
But she would be like, outside. Outside? That's just how it was. I don't know why. Whatever, I'm gonna call her Olivia. So, oh, no. So we all chilling. I'm cool with Wiz. You know, I walk in, I got my Converse on. And he loved Converse. So he was like, oh, you got to, you wear that. I didn't know you wear that. Yeah, I fuck with that, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, we just, we just chilling. Mind you, <laughs> these was the same Converse Alicia tried to steal from me one time. That's another story, but she tried to steal my shoes. I gave her my shoes brand new. When I got them shoes back, like weeks later, they were fucked up. Like really messed up. She didn't even attempt to clean them off when she gave them back and that's another story but it comes to a certain point like girl you too old for that but at this time i guess you're really dragging it right now anthony doing all that so not i feel like anthony being extra like just oh stop it <laughs> i promise you if i would have seen if i would have seen alicia had gunk on her ear i would have like text her or something girl you finna loud talk the hell out of me <laughs> I killed this. What did I get again? I got an espresso frappuccino. I feel like espresso be getting my heart pumping too fast and I start talking real fast and I don't be finishing sentences and shit. <laughs> anyway, where was I at? Or even if you got a shit or anything, I just feel like if you leave a group of people and you come back <laughs> and then the bathroom was right there. I don't know. I just felt like it was awkward. So yeah, we walked to the apartment complex because the apartment complex was closer to her house than it was to my house. When she come to the door, I turn around, I look at her like, ugh. I forgot to mention, Wiz had like this Cali, he kind of had that Cali accent. I don't know if he was actually from California. I want to say he was. If he wasn't, I don't know. He was, I don't know. So, um, <laughs> so you ain't got to speak to me. But the thing was, Chelsea and Alicia was supposed to be cool. I'm just like, y'all a trip y'all are tripping he was he's just laughing i don't know if he was how or what but he giggling laughing and shit like what you mean what you talking about da, da, da. i ain't i ain't fucking with neither one of them boy you ain't gotta explain nothing to me i do not care <laughs> oh my god i thought she was gonna stand her ground not today oh man my stomach hurt why <laughs> that would have been another story <laughs> bitch he be like, Chelsea not my type, all kinds of lies. One thing about dudes, when they say a girl is not their type, I feel like they mean the complete opposite. Because <laughs> my ex used to say that same stuff. I don't like girls that do this or have that and blah, blah, blah. Go on his Instagram and he following girls that do this and have that and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't even take that ass back. Boy, bye. <laughs> it was always some damn drama. Five, maybe eight something he was tall and skinny well that's not really tall i know he was skinny as hell why do you want to fight now why is today the day that you want to fight naked mole rat we didn't even call her olivia at all we call her naked mole rat forever it was some bullshit bitch if you finna hit me just hit me now when alicia swung i really think she was trying to hit that girl because i feel like she had been holding in a lot it was some bullshit me <laughs> mind you olivia lived closer to alicia so come outside just all you have to do is come outside forever but yeah that was pretty much that situation let me stop yeah damn i can't, I can't ever just record normal because this was ridiculous I dropped that damn clicker again. You know what? Clicker. <laughs> I'm done with it. All right, anyway. Excuse me. Like, what the fuck? Mm, just like that frap I had earlier. Just like caramel. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, Y'all, I be posting in the community section. I don't know if y'all get notified about that, but it's like nobody see my community post no more. I don't know what happened. Maybe I need to contact YouTube, but yeah. I know my members get the notification because I, I asked y'all what nails to get and I ended up getting these. They said these the Euphoria nails. I did not know that before I got them. But yeah. You know, I was trying to give spring. It's such a beautiful day too. As soon as I leave, I'm taking my boobie to the park. Take your heart to the park. So yeah, anyway. Should I end the video? Because yeah, I feel like I should end the video.